today we're going to talk about Ranger's Gloss Spray, which is a glossy acrylic spray. So acrylic paint by itself is glossy, right? So maybe they took the property of that and said, okay, we're gonna call it gloss spray. So when I heard, so I have all these, right? And most of them are foolish for me. Um, this one may be completely full. No, I mean, I've used them all. Maybe I haven't used this one. Um, I've, I've used them all and I enjoyed using them until they stopped working, right? And I understand the concept of, um, you have to clean these spray nozzles. Um, Tim Holtz, who's delightful, talks about, um, you know, taking your spray nozzle into the kitchen and then cleaning it off and then putting it in a cup of water and spray spray literally i am never going to do that like this is how my spray nozzles look right that's just how my um my system operates and so i'm just get, getting a thing here none of this is is ranger's fault they created a project a product that i could love right that that would be nice for me um, because I love acrylic, I love um, permanent, I love, like, it, it could be something that would make my heart happy. But then I was super sad um, because I couldn't use it, right? Like, like they don't spray anymore. I can tell you, um, cheddar. They just, like, it'll come out like that. A lot of them don't come out at all. And then the thought is that I'm going to just keep buying replacement heads. And so every time I want to use them, I have to buy a replacement head. Um, I'm a tree hugger, and that does not work for me. So uh, when I saw the three new colors come out, and I'm trying to be more colorful, and I'm especially trying to use red, not necessarily purple. I'm not... Um, I'm not committing to purple, but I am committing to a little bit more red. Um, I was like, well, I guess I could buy them and use them once. I mean, unless I physically used them up, um, they weren't worth anything to me, except, I, I mean, I know, I know the concept. I'm not dumb. I know how you could take this out and do all that. Um, and then I could pour it, but I'm not a good pourer. Like, I very derpy and I have cats and so that didn't work for me. So I decided to go on to uh, Amazon and to purchase little glass droppers. So these are like medicine or no, no, makeup droppers. I don't know why people have makeup like this, but they do. I guess it's for serum and stuff, but they're a glass tube and a glass bottle. So number one, that makes me happy. Um, this is um, silicone, plastic, but um, glass is recyclable or at least, uh, you know, it won't hurt the universe as much as me to keep buying plastic lids. So let's talk about the concept that I'm going for and we're going to see if it works. Okay, so I have 10 of those and I have a bunch of these. So let's go with this purple one who appears to have uh, lost his mind. And one of the things you have to do with acrylics, and this is not, um, this is not uh, particular to these acrylics, any acrylic, you have to, and there's something wet going on here. I don't know exactly what's going on. You have to shake them with a shaker ball, right? So I, I would say, and I think I heard Tim Holt say this about a different product, was that they couldn't put his, um, his product into glass droppers like this because you have to have the shaker ball, right? And I get that. So what I'm thinking is I can dispense this, right? And I've shaken it quite a bit into here. I'm gonna put this lid back on, this non-working, non-functional lid. And then we're gonna try this. So, if it works, great. If not, I'll use my little drippy things for something else. So I'm doing a project 
with um, uh, uh, for mini magazine collages, but I have to make a whole bunch of backgrounds. So I thought I would use all of my products today because that's what you're supposed to do when you buy products. You're supposed to use them. And I'm going to use them on uh, this project. So I'm going to try this, uh, this dropper two different ways. So I have a Tim Holtz replacement non-stick mat. Okay. So I have other silicone mats, but this, is, this one is different. I can tell you in all sincerity because I've tried the other ones. Um, this one has like a, um, a sticky back right sticky and then it's not made like other silicone mats okay one thing about silicone mats uh uh is if you put permanent stuff on there i believe it couldn't color it but i don't care and then i have the we are memory keepers glass mat so we are going to try this a couple different ways and oh 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 shoot i I'm going to use this project in the way that I like to use it first, which is to take, <clears throat> uh, that's a Vicky Booten. Let's see what else we got. We got some flowers. I need some different, different shapes. Okay, here we go. All right, we got some circles and this is a cheapo, cheapo stencil. Uh, I don't know that that'll work. I love circles, so I can't have too many circles in my artwork. I don't like flowers and circles. I've determined that I do not like flowers and circles. So there, can't make me. All right, so I like flowers. Let's see what else we got in here. If this was open, I might try this. Oh, look at these circles. Those are good circles. I hated this. This is Vicki Booten too. Um, I'm sure it's delightful. This is plaid stencil, some kind of plaid stencil. I'm trying to figure, like, a. I spend an inordinate amount of time, ooh, mermaids, trying to find the name of stencils because I'm derpy about it. So here's some more. This was Storyteller. Those were um, Color Story. I just love Vicki Booten's um, circles. Okay, we'll do that one. Oh, that's a good one. Okay. So, ooh, checkers. Other checkers? Ooh, that other checkers. We're gonna start with that other checkers. Okay. So we have stencils, and and I, I have a little stencil. I am Tara, and I am a stencil addict. Okay. So here we go. We're going to start with this guy, and we're going to start with purple because that's the one I decanted, right? Okay. So what I like to do with them, I need one more spot. We got to move this stuff over. Uh, okay, put this up. Give me one second to clean up my mess. We're moving over. Everybody's moving over. Whoo, that was close. Okay, so long story short, you can't shake this with the shaker bottle, although I could shake it. I don't know if it's going to be shaky enough if it's been sitting around to be able to manage itself, but that. That is a, when I come to that, it's fine, but not being able to use a product I have bought and paid for and spent money on makes me sadder than the fact that I may have to decant it back into the thing every once in a while. And, uh, and so, so that's where I'm at. Okay, so now this is liquid. So it's like liquid acrylic. It will become totally um, permanent which makes my heart happy. And now we're gonna try it on the silicone mat first. So what I like to do is this, and then we're gonna just come here, we're gonna set it down. And the more you set it down, the fewer cells, and you can even get those cells. See, that's cool. Okay, on the silicone mat, it works great. Right? Fewer cells, fewer cells. Okay, I'm going to have to use this on more than one thing because this is a lot of... Okay, so I used the two drops of liquid, and I guess this is what made me the saddest was there was a, sh a ton of it in there, but I couldn't use any of it because it was kind of, um, you know, trapped, as it were. Okay, let's do this other one. So I'm going to go to another spot so you can see this. Okay, so let's do this. Uh, ooh, 
silicone mat for the win. Who knew that a silicone mat could make such a difference? Let's try it again. Nope, it's just kind of glopping. I don't know why that makes a difference. Let's try that again. <laughs> this is exciting. Okay, down. Nope, it didn't touch. No, there wasn't enough. Okay. Boop. Boop. All right, all right, so that's cool. So either which way, talking about the gloss spray, I'm very pleased with how it's turning out. Now we're gonna do some, you're just, now you're just crafting with me. So if, 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 if your goal was to find out if it works, yes, it works, that's all I was doing. Okay, so let's do a corner. And this is gonna be very bold, right? We're gonna get the and the thing is that this is, because it's acrylic and it's not, um, uh, a lot of Ranger stuff is water reactive, meaning that it will reinvigorate itself when water touches it. Um, this is not that, right? So once this dries, um, it's going to be a, a it could be a little bit of a resist. You're going to be able to see it behind. You're going to be able to do all kinds of stuff with it. So that's exciting. All right, what other? Oh, you want to try this one? Look at this guy. I think that could be fun. What happens if we just smudge it through this thing? Okay, smudgies. I'm finding I like this gloss on this silicone mat better. Now, if you, that did not work. Is it just there's not enough on there? Did I talk too long? Let's see. That did not work. Let's try it over here. <gasps> Do we need to? Okay. Oh, that did better. What about these guys? I think the ones with the littler cells, eh. I mean, that's not, that's not lifting my skirt. Let's try this one. Boop, boop, boop. Now this stuff won't stay live forever. Oh, that worked a lot better. So it's, it's the one with the open cells that work the best. Okay, so let's, let's leave those here. Let's set this aside. And I live in Florida, so honestly, um, the best thing I bet to do, see, it's already making it, um, it's already discoloring it, which I'm totally fine with. Um, the best thing to do is to um, clean your nozzles, right? I totally get that. Um, but if that's not gonna be in your wheelhouse, do we wanna do another purple? Do we wanna do teal? I'm not doing red. I just can't. Um, I don't want red and purple together. So we're gonna do purple. So let's get another one of our thingies. Okay. Well, I didn't take the plastic off down here thinking it's not gonna matter. It did. All right, give me a second. Well, what if I take the Oh, this, oh yeah, this is a recipe for disaster. I'm gonna, never mind. We're gonna have to figure this out, peeps. Because there are just too many ways for that to go wrong. Okay, now we got this. Now we got this. We should be able to cut this. All right. All right, all right, all right, there we go. Okay, Ranger likes to make sure their product lids stay on. So I'm gonna pour this one in, and I shook all of these, like I shook the crap out of all of these before you and I got together. Because I thought that having a little shaky party would be annoying, right? And I believe I was probably right. Okay, so let's get our paper, one of our papers back. And and so we found that the ones with the big, with the open spaces work the best, right? 
So we're gonna try an open space. And I'm gonna start with just over here because I kind of feel like I liked what was happening on the silicone. Okay. Boop. Now to me, that feels like it was really filled in. So, I don't mind a blob, but you might mind a blob. Let's try mermaid scales. Because I kind of want it to be recognizable as what it is. Can we bump it off so there's not as much? Now, see, that's the look I like the most. And I did this with a Tim Holtz honeycomb stencil one time. And it worked a treat, and I liked it very much. I think I have a, a video of that. I will link to it. Um, I like these two colors together, if you're wondering. Um, they do look very pretty together. I don't know what the names are. Purple and Maroon. I will put links to them, to the actual products, in the description. But seeing as how going forward, I will not even have the jars. I'm going to leave them over. I'm super fortunate. Okay, I don't have a huge craft room, um, but I do have a really good organizational system. Uh, I have a big Calyx unit over there, um, which is uh, the IKEA, the IKEA um, squares. So I have lots of room for lots of things. Um, and I will just, ooh, that didn't work at all. We gotta go back to this guy. This squares work the best. Okay, so we're gonna do this. And I think I can honestly say that I am super pleased. Now the proof is gonna come, and you'll see me using these more now because I will actually functionally be able to get the product out of the jar. Um, so the proof is gonna come if they just separate out and they can't manage themselves at all, which I see it sincerely doubt. None, I mean, like you're supposed to shake your paints, but you really only have to shake your paints after they've sat for a while. So if you're using your products, I would have to think that we're gonna be at least semi-okay with, um, with not having the, uh, and I'm using a baby wipe because we have a baby. I have a new grandbaby, so I have baby wipes now. Everybody was always like, use a baby wipe. And I'm like, we don't have any babies. Um, Cause I adopted my kids when they were, um, my youngest was five. So I had never experienced the joy of baby wipes before. So, so I'd say I'm very pleased with it. I will definitely um, try this again. And I am going to decant all of my um, gloss sprays into these little uh, makeup jars. And I'll put a link to these two. They were not expensive at all. Um, so hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Artsy Fartsy Life.